What's up my gorgeous chiquities? Welcome to today's diary entry. My name is Valeria Alicia and today I wanted to show you how I blow dry my hair to achieve this straight smooth hair from frizz because my hair is very very frizzy uh, without any product so I wanted to show you exactly what I use. Before we get started this video is sponsored by Briogeo but as always the opinion is fully mine and I really do hope that you put your trust in me because that means the world to me. I'm here to bring you nothing but the best so I would never talk about a product that I don't fully love myself. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here you go. Al natural with the hair, frizz and all. Yeah, not such a pretty sight. So let's go ahead and get some oil in there. I like to focus the oil on the bottom half of my hair, keeping away from the upper half, which is too close to the scalp, for my hair is very oily. I like to focus it even more on the tips, and the same thing with this smoothing cream that I'm using right here, maintaining it all on the bottom half of my hair. Onto the Briogeo Rosarco Cream. This is a heat protectant cream of up to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Its key ingredients are rosehip oil, which is good for protecting your hair from UV and extensive damage, argan oil, which is great for frizz control, coconut oil to lock in moisture, and algae extract, which is great and rich in antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals to help strengthen hair. As you can see, I take about a quarter size and I focus it mainly on the top and bottom half of my hair. But then I go in one more time, which you'll see here in a second, and focus it mainly on the tips of my hair because that's exactly where all the split ends happen. That is where my hair is most damaged and I need most protection. Okay, so now that we're done with that, let's move on to blow drying the hair. I like to divide my hair into three layers. So I like to start with my bottom half and then leave the upper half secured with a clip of your choice. And then I like to divide it into two, but later on you'll see that I actually move on to just one half. So grab your round brush and your blow dryer and let's get started. So I like to brush the hair first and then part it into either two or three pieces. And here you'll see that I start with three pieces and I like to brush the hair first and then go ahead and get started. Yes, I am aware that I do not hold the blow dryer correctly in the handle, but I can't help it guys. I grew up doing it this way and therefore I think I'm going to be stuck doing it this way forever and ever. I sometimes like to take the hair and go backwards as you can see right here. This is definitely to help curl those ends and get those frizzy hairs to team down. However, I don't like doing it so much, especially when I'm using this brush for this is a bigger round brush. If you like your tips to be a little more curled, then I would go ahead and suggest using a smaller round brush but as you can see I like using a bigger one and the reason for that is because it speeds up the process of blow drying your hair but it's up to your preference I sometimes feel like using a smaller one for that same effect but in this case I just really wanted to make sure my hair looked straight and natural
So I'm going to be repeating the same steps with the other two pieces of my hair as you can see until the pieces are dry and there you can see the ends have a little curl to them and I really like that effect. So after I'm done doing that, I like to do the whole section one last time to make sure I get everything fully dry. So there you have it. There you can see a huge difference. Okay, so let's move on to the other half of my hair. I'm going to be doing these same steps one more time, but this time I'm gonna divide it into two pieces and start the blow drying process. And on to the top half of my hair, I'm going to be dividing this section into two pieces and focusing on my roots to make sure I can achieve some volume. And here is a before and after shot. Now by the power invested in editing, let's go ahead and fast forward the rest. Now let's move on to my bangs. As you can see, my bangs are not your typical short bangs. They're fairly long, but I still like to blow dry them to make sure that I get some volume. This is, is definitely key to ensure that your hair does not look flat. All right, so these are the end results. As you can see, my hair is no longer frizzé and it actually is living 
I just love how the Briojo Rosarco cream helps make it more shiny and you guys I just got my hair cut I think two weeks ago and I swear to you after I cut my hair I blow dry my hair or you know go about my hair how I usually do which is blow drying and straightening or straightening you know either or but I usually see split ends like that and now since I started using the Rosarco cream you guys I don't see split ends right now and you saw how I am with my blow dryer so the heat is really right on my um, my hair but I don't see split ends and my hair is very damaged especially on my ends because they were bleached so I really really love this product and I hope that you guys do get a chance to try it out because you won't be sorry and my hair is so shiny and I just absolutely love it. There you have it. Those are my tips and tricks and how I blow dry my hair. I hope that you guys have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on my next one. Un besote. Bye.